Right, so I was going to show you how to do the um, regression line using uh, Excel, um, but I've actually figured out how to do it on GeoGebra now. So just quickly show you. So as before, you just drag your image into um, GeoGebra, and then you want to move it around um, until you're happy roughly with where it goes. Adjust the size using these A and B points. Um, we'll... I think it's just needs to be rotated a little bit. There we go. Once you're happy, right click, settings, background image. Um, don't delete point A and B because if you do that, it changes where your picture is again. So to deleting it, just unclick them at the side there so they're not visible. And then you basically um, just select some new points. Um, the more you, the more points you select, the uh, the more accurate it'll be. Obviously, um, so now, obviously, my points have kind of gone off track here a bit, but for the point of demonstration, that will do. Um, and then this is the key bit to get your equation. From GeoGebra, you need to use the line fit, and then you'll get all this list come up. Um, if you wanted just a straight line, a line of best fit, it would be this one. But you want a polynomial. Um, for this example, a degree of four, as discussed. So um, you click on that, and it tells you how to input it. But what took me a little while to figure out is that to input the list of points, you have to use the curly brackets. So on my keyboard there, just to the right of the P, so you know uppercase, and then you get this curly bracket. And once I've got that curly bracket in there, I can just start typing them in. Um, so C all the way through to R. So C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R, and then um, yeah, degree of polynomial as discussed is four. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. And there's the line. That's what the line looks like. Um, and then if we want to actually see the equation of that line, you can see it um, down here, but it's not very really clear. You could, I suppose, you could make that window wider or something. Um, and I haven't figured a way of copying and pasting that, but I'm sure you guys can figure it out. Um, but another way you could see that line is if you just right click on the line, go to its settings, and sorry, you need to be in here for some reason. You need to right click on the line, and then, uh, sorry, yeah, for its, it's in here, yeah, where it says show label, you want its name and value, or just its value, and if you do that, it appears at the bottom of the screen there. Now, again, you can kind of move that around a little bit, um, I haven't figured a way of copying and pasting that, but um, I'm sure one of you guys might be able to figure that out.